So, huge week for the club. Back in Champions Cup, last 16 against the Tigers. I think five years since our last knockout game in Europe. No better man to talk European rugby than a European Champions Cup winner, Sam Skinner. Sam, great to have you here. Great to be here, Grant. Um, it's very kind of you to say. Um, let's talk Let's talk about winning it first. Okay. Let's start there. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it was obviously an incredible experience. Um, we rode our luck, I suppose, um, involved in the sort of quarterfinals and semifinals and final stage. And it was a weird time because it was during COVID and we didn't have the fans and things. So we got a lucky home semifinal against Toulouse, really. Um, and then the final was actually at Ashton Gate at Bristol. But you'll know from the big games you played in, it's just that emotional energy, isn't it? The, the, the European games feel different. The music comes on, sort of feels like that sort of Champions League song, doesn't it? Um, and it's and it's really good, and you can feel in the week we've just had a pretty intense training session today, and there's a there's a different feel about the place, which is amazing. And um, going to Tigers will be pretty cool. Have you have you played there before? No, nah, I've not. I've been lucky to play in, <coughs> in quite a few big European games, but um, Welford Road somewhere I've always wanted to play. So really exciting to to play there this weekend. It's good. It's um, I reckon there'll, there'll be a sellout. And they sort of come running down the steps. Uh, it's quite a thin, it's an old school change room. It's quite thin steps to get down and they're a bit awkward actually, especially when you've got your big 21s in. That's um, not good for me. I can't remember the song they come out to, but it's quite good. You, you, you get pretty pumped up because uh, the atmosphere is mad and they'll be, they'll be hungry because I don't know if Leicester were in the, in the European last year. I'm sure they probably were. They won the challenge couple, got to the final recently. They probably were in it last year, but um, they're back in the top fight now after obviously winning the Prem. Um, so their fans will be real hungry for this game, which will be brilliant. And obviously we'll fight fire with fire, so it'll be a hell of an atmosphere for the boys. Yeah, that's class. So they, you can see from the way boys are training this week, just to feel about about the place. Obviously, we gutted well with the result of the weekend, but you know we had to put it to bed because European weeks. You know, we, you know, I think thinking back to um, you know previous runs we've had in Europe. You know, it doesn't always coincide with with, with the league stuff going well. Like, obviously, the the years where you're going we're going on both fronts are the ones you you truly remember. But European rugby is different, and knockout rugby is different, and it provides a different opportunity for us. And certainly, the the buzz around the place this week, we know that our season's on the line on on the Friday night, and we're uh, we're ready to step up and embrace that. Hundred percent. What about your your big games in Europe? What's what comes to mind for you? Well, my first experience, first ever season um, with the Gunners in 2011 um, was the year we, we ended up getting to the semi-final of the, the Heineken Cup as it was back then. So I kind of thought, oh, this is what's going to happen all the time. You know, this is this is normal. Um, it's not normal. You know, I think since then I've played in one other knockout game um, in 2018 where we played Munster here. Um, so yeah, the, the first year was to me is just so special as a young as a young player. Just playing for Edinburgh was amazing, and then I found ourselves qualifying out of the group in in the Heineken Cup, like my first time in the Heineken Cup. Wow, wow, like you grew up watching and watching Edinburgh play in the Heineken Cup. But I, I remember um, when I was younger, Edinburgh got to the quarterfinals and they played Toulouse away. Um, and I remember watching that game. Mike was playing. Um, it was like quite a big Edinburgh fan. Then <clears throat> one of my best mates' dad was the forwards coach, so we used to come to the games all the time. So I remember that being like, "Wow, they're in the High Cup quarter final, and they played away in Toulouse." Um, and then you know there it was whatever I think it was ten years later, twelve years later, and I was playing at home against Toulouse, and it's still one of the most special matches that I've been involved in for Edinburgh. We had forty thousand people here supporting Edinburgh um, and winning obviously helps so yeah that that first experience was special um and then you know 2018 it it feels like a negative because the game the quarterfinal we we done so well in the group we had some amazing results in the group like i waited to uh, too long we beat montpellier here we finished top of the group we are in the home quarterfinal we played monster here played really well and and kind of blew the end of the game and now the memory of that doesn't seem as as good as the as twenty eleven twenty twelve, but we probably on the way had a similar experience. It's just that last that last five minutes will haunt me for a while. 
we've obviously um, put ourselves in a strong position. Not the strongest because we've got an away fixture against Leicester. But how how do you think we've we've fared this year in the pool stages so far? Obviously, it's it's a different setup these last couple of years to, as it has been. So we've had Cast away and home, and Saris away and home, and obviously our performances have have looked a little bit different to our average performance in the league this year. Um, how do you think we've gone in the group, I suppose, and and why why does that put us in, I guess, a good position going to Leicester? I think we've we've put our best performances of the year in Europe. And not, that's not through wanting to try and like every week we've tried to get our best version of ourselves out there, but when we've come against these big, physical, powerful teams like Saris and Cass, where it's, it's brought the best out of us, it's forced us to, to, to bring a level of physicality to our game that suits us. Um, we've been, you know, racking our brains as to how to replicate that in the league and, you know, we've had frustrations about not being able to do that, but. I think we could take confidence from those from those group games, um, but also know what it takes because we we both played in those games. You know, narrowly narrowly losing down in Saris, we felt we should have won, but we but we probably weren't good enough. And the and the game here, we were we were much better. We controlled the game and we deservedly won. Uh, and we're disappointed not to get a bonus point. I mean, like that. If you take that. Um, as as it is, it's, it's certainly it was a it was still a, a great performance and certainly a blueprint for us this weekend. Um, what we use, you think uh, away games, big European away games, what are the key what are oh, the key things? No, I can't right? I can't wait because hearing murmurs that the weather might not be great. Leicester's pitch is notoriously quite tight. Big stadium. Can feel quite intense it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool um it's going to be obviously a huge physical they've gone back to the leicester of old a little bit with their physicality which is cool um and obviously we've got full belief that we can go and get the job done but we know how hard we're going to have to work to do that um so it's going to be a really cool classic heineken cup match i think um yeah. one that might go down right to the wire um we might well hopefully Hopefully we'll we'll have we'll have the win. Obviously that's the goal. Um, but it's going to be really exciting, sort of traditional, proper as close as you can kind of get to test match rugby. I think as uh, what they always say about Europe, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think, and that's true, isn't it? Yeah, you, you say that from your experience. I certainly feel that those just those big European games are yeah, pressure, pressure pressure games, knockout games. They're a lot more like test matches than than any you know any regular season games. Even though the regular season games are important to build points, that that feeling of pressure and like how we can handle that pressure. You know, we were an experienced team, a team for the internationals and yep. we'll, we'll be putting a little bit of pressure on ourselves to deliver and, and under that kind of cauldron away from home, you know, I'd say most of the guys are, or all the guys are experienced enough and we'll be, be relishing that challenge, not looking at it going off, you know. This this is a, a daunting task. I think it's, it's something that that we should be going there, you know, with, with a level of expectation ourselves as well.